M0FXB, welcome to my channel. DMR Radio DP10. I've been asked to have a look at the code plug. I've opened it, the file was sent to me. I will provide a link in the description and it did come in Chinese like this. So just press up here, a little red tab and it's now in English. First thing we're gonna do is look at the channels. So if we open up this fully, when you double click channel here at the top, you're presented with this window, but everything's in Chinese. So I've started to add my hotspot. If you look here on the left, my hotspot ali under alias, which alias just means name, receive frequency and TX are the same, receive group, I have selected number one, and then I put in just for now contact number nine. Then we've got power, digital analog, so I've selected digital in this case, slot two, color code one and you can expand that if you double click the arrows at the end so that's how I created my hotspot now you do have to assign it to a contact so if we look over here we we'll look at contacts see these contacts here now without contacts nothing's going to work how so you do have to create your contacts at the beginning so go down here to where it says contacts <clears throat> just on the left here you get this window and you'll probably have contact one here so all you do is just click add and let's say we're going to add uh, 2351 which is called chat now I've kept the numbers in here but you could actually write a name so if I call this one chat chat one which is called click over here on the right 2351 and you want a group one yeah a group chord you click down here you get group chord you could add and create a a private one so if you go private that could be an individual person so you could want to call me so you could put here a and Andres uh, and my number is two three four one four three seven you could call me direct on a private call okay is it gonna let me do that two three four one four three seven and then just click add yeah normally if you click add it goes down chat so you know how to correct create private and group calls. I've never used the all call one. I have known though in the past though, if you don't use all call, no one can hear you. So let's create an analog one now, an analog channel. And we do need to put these channels into a zone as well, so we can find them on the radio. But an analog one, if you click here, look, there's the name, there's my input and output, so for GB3WR, but this time you don't select digital, you select analog okay at the top and then this way you're going to have the the ability to add a code a ctcss code which is here which you use in analog and you can again double click the end arrows and you should get a whole window appear which is not doing it is it because we've already done it no but anyway you get the idea it's not letting me ah there it is there at the bottom it's minimized itself at the bottom so there's the whole window here uh, that's appeared Right, let's minimize that again. These are my channels that I've created. Now you did see the screen behind, which is the button one. So we'll double click buttons and you can assign buttons. So it's the button tab here. Let's go to zones before we forget, but you, as you can see, buttons are short press and long press. We'll go to zones. Let's find our zones. Where's that gone? Zones, are, oh there it is there, right in front of me. So, there's a zone there, zone one, my channels. Now, we have to add those channels into my zone. So you've got them here. And then if you click them across, these, these channels are now in my zone. Now you can create a new zone by just create going add. So let's say the new zone, we could call it simplex, for example. We'll call it simplex. And if we go back to channels, minimize that, go back to, see the way it minimizes everything down at the bottom here? Let's go back to channels, there it is there, and we'll create a simplex one, so we'll call this one caps S20, and then we'll go 145.500, it does move it across, and we're gonna go analog, we don't need a tone on this, S20. So then we'll go back to our zone, which I keep not being able to see. There's our, oh, I didn't add it. So when you type simplex, 
click the word add underneath. That's what adds it. So you've got Simplex. So now if we find S20 channel and we click this, click this zone, which is the one called Simplex, then we can put it in there. Where's it gone? Click add. That did actually work just now. It's not letting me do it now. Alias, my hotspot. I don't know why it's not letting me do that. Current zone, there it is there. Current zone simplex. There you are. Hopefully that will allow you then to put it in. Current channel A is my hotspot. So you can have repeaters on B. So let's completely close that one down a minute. And double click zone again. Oh, I'm just trying to see why it won't let me go. If we go to simplex hey, right, it's doing it now and we can now yeah that's better we can now move it into our zone and we can select it and we can take it out as well there you go right so mm, aprs i've not used menu that's all your menu settings don't really know why we use work mode but it's there you can select it to display frequency or channel Contact as your receive group list and you can add more if you want. Receive groups put put channels in a group together and then you can select to listen to those channels all in one group. You don't have to keep changing channels. So I think that's the basics. I've literally just, just turned this on. You seem to have a VFO A and a VFO B here for selections. So I wonder if it's dual VFO. Got zone scanning, you put things into scan list. It's again something I never use. Hot keys. Up here at the top. File. You can open a file, read and write radio, communication port. So when you connect it to your radio, you're going to want to need to select the correct COM port, which you will find by going right click, click device manager, which, which would be there. What else we got here? Tree bar, tool, window, cascade, and there's help here as well. It just says the version. So give it a go. I mean, DMR is a learning curve. You create channels, you put them into zones, and then that's the zones. The reason you have zones is when you're scrolling through the radio and looking at the, you know, looking at the actual radio. Let's have a quick look at this. You can turn through zones, and within the zones, there are with channels that you've created. It does say here VHF, UHF, dual mode, digital, analog. I wonder if it actually will receive two at the same time. It's one of those ones where you have to test it. Oh my god, look at all these different radios. So I hope this helps you a bit. As you can see, I haven't got the radio, I'm just trying it out. Zones, channels. Remember, when you create a channel, you do have to create you have to select a color code which is like ctcss a contact which is basically a talk group number you have to select if it's digital analog you also have to select slot what is slot well one half of a slot is uh it, it, there's two halves of a channel imagine the channel cut in half like a cake cut in half dmr uses one half at a time but if you you can use both halves at the same time say you could transmit analog in one half digital in the other half and then you're going to get more out of that channel so that's it really, bye for now, 7-3.